it's a healthy mind, for it's a healthy soul. It's proven. I'm not making this up. It's medical fact. If I take care of my body, I'm going to feel better about myself. I am. You don't have to look like a goddess or a big muscle guy. You don't have to look like a swimsuit about. That doesn't matter. It's being healthy and feeling good about yourself. It'll bring a healthy mind to release of stress. You athletes know what I'm talking about because you know what it's like to go out there. Even when you have homework done or you have a problem at home or whatever may be going on in school, you still have to go play the game talk. You still have to go and get it. And to me, those are great lessons in life. Good things happen to good people. One of the best quotes I've ever heard in my entire adult life. Good things happen to good people. My father used to say, what have you done for me lately? What have you done for me lately? In football, it's true. You can have the best game the weekend before. If you have a bad game, guess which one they remember? The bad game. Until you get another good game, then they can talk about that. What have you done for me lately? Not just sports, school. Hey, you got a good grade last week. Great. What's next? You're going to graduate from eighth grade from middle school. What's next? What are you going to do? What have you done for me lately? And I'll tell you one of my favorite quotes, my very first football coach, Mike Flood, still alive, a great man. I played for a Catholic grammar school, fourth grade through eighth grade. And we literally played for the school, and it was fantastic. It was a great part of my life. And he said to us, as a team, he said it to me individually. What the mind can conceive, the body will achieve. And those who remain will be champions. Mind, you can see. The body will achieve. But you're going to go through ups and downs. You're going to go through speed bumps. You're going to have adversities, personally, professionally. My dad died when I was 25. 25 in one month, gone. He got to see me make it, play for the Jag, which is great. But that was a really tough time in my life, 16 years ago. He died on December 31st, 1995. He's with me every day because I keep him in my heart. 